Good everyone, my name is Graphics. In this video, I'll be showing you on how to apply scale whenever you are drawing. Sometimes you might be given the diagram and you might find the diagram very easy, but you start having problem when you are told to draw to scale. Now let's take for example, we have different kind of scale, right? There are different skills that can be given to a particular drawing. One of them, let's see, one is to one. We are told to draw using skill one ratio one, right? What does it mean to draw in a ratio of what? One is to one. Now, let me take you down the memory lane. When you say one ratio one, it means one over one, right? One over one of what? Of whatever you are drawing. So, it means that if I want to redraw this figure, 1 ratio 1 means 1 over 1 of any particular dimension I am considering. So if I'm considering AB, dimension AB, that is what, 40? It will be 1 over 4 of what? Of 40. I will know very well that 1 over 1 is 1. 1 times 40 is what? It is 40. Right? So it means that what? I am drawing exactly what I am giving. I am using the main, the full size. It means you draw the full size. Whatever dimension you see, use the dimension. So if I want to apply this, it will be 1 over 1 of what? Of 60, right? 1 all over 1 of what? Of 60. And that was to give us what? 60. Knowing fully well, we are all working in what? In millimeter, depending on what you are told to do, right? Now let's take for instance again, another one. Saying 1 is to what? Is to 2. 1 ratio 2. Before we conclude, if it is reduction or enlargement, let's see what is happening. So when I say 1 in ratio 2, it means 1 over 2 of the dimension that is given. 1 over 2 of the dimension that is given. So we say AB, right? And length of AB is 40. So it means 1 over 2 of 40. And that will give us what? That will give us 20. Because 1 times 40 is 40. Divided by 2 is what? Is 20. Right? Similarly, 1 over 2 of what? Of the height here, which is what? 60. So 1 times 60 is 60. Divided by 2 is what? Is 30 millimeter. Right? So what do you notice? 1, one ratio 2 means the half the size. So when you have the word half full size, they are telling you to draw in a ratio of what? 1 is to 2. Is that taken now? Half full size. So if you recognize, I have 40. Half full size of 40 is what? 20. I have 60. Half full size of 60 is what? Is 30. Now let's take another one again. And see, what about when the 2 come forward and the 1 go behind? What will happen? I'm having 2 ratio 1. What does this mean? It means that what? 2 all over 1 of what? Of the distance that was given. 2 over 1 of 40. Right? So it means 2 over 1 is 2. Multiply by 40. That will give us what? 80. 2 over 1 of what? Of 60. Means that what? 2 times 60 divided by 1 is still what? 120. So what it means? It means twice the size. So when you see 2 is to 1, means twice the size mean one is to two means half the size is that the case now so in the nutshell to crown all this all up right we are now told you're giving whenever you have probably one is to three three is to one one is to two two is to one right it means the word um this means three times have three times half the size, right? It will be one all over three of the distance that is given. This will be three over one of the distance that is given. This is one over two of the distance that is given. Is that taken now? So it can be half the full size or twice the size or triple the size. You know, when you have three is to one, it means that what? Triple the size. So, whatever you're not giving two is to five, what does it mean? Simple. 2 over 5 of the distance. 
2 over 5 of 40. 5 and 40 is what? Is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. So instead of using 40, you'll be using 16. Right? What about 5 over 2 of the distance? Let's say 5 over 2 of the full distance A, B, 40. 2 in 4, 5, 2 in 40 is 20. 20 times 5 is 100. So it means that what? Our A, B here will be what? 100. Are we together now? So this is what we call half full size and twice the size. And you can check some of my videos that I've prepared down on enlargement and what? And reduction. So you can click on this link in order to access the video on enlargement and what? And on reduction. So if you have found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment if you have anything to say. Thanks for watching.